crowd already getting behind Navi. Duo that can find kills, probably in uh, the top lane as the your ideal scenario. There's going to work, but the tornado's coming in. That's going to usher Suneko back. Dendi really wants to commit to this. Has the blink. Mikasa's in the danger zone, and Dendi blinks forward, looking for the kill. The creep looks to turn it with the clap, but it's first blood to Navi. And man, yeah, this crowd, they sure love their hometown hero. You're going to Fountain, possibly both heroes. But top meanwhile, lane. top lane, action breaking out. Art style gets run over. General looking to turn this around. Should be able to finish off DDC. One more auto attack. Does get the distance, therefore. And could even maybe turn onto the Weaver. No, he's going to TP out and play Good. it safe. The mid lane, Mikasa. This happened yesterday. Got punished mid. Did come back later. The punishment will continue. Two for Na'Vi here in the mid. The IO secured mid. The Enchantress has not done the same. Yeah. You expect more out of your first pick. Well, Dendi's going in aggressive once more. Siphon comes out, but the IO just ignores it, essentially. Negates all that damage. Dendi does drop low under tower, but again, pop goes the Death Prophet. Spilling blood in this mid lane time and time again. You just got to slow things down, try and secure a bit more farm. Let FY control the oh, tempo of the game. Yay! Well, just deleted bottom. That they're going to march on towards top, and we'll have to see how good ZYF is at dodging this. Yeah, interesting choice. Very close to the Vici Gaming Reborn Tower, so if you relocate in, Vici Gaming Reborn can suddenly bring four or five heroes down there. They'd rather try find the kill at top. He's got the he's got the time lapse available, maybe forced to pop it. Dendi blink and an ultimate could spell doom, and now he's just gonna get it with the scream. Yeah, it, it's hard. You time lapse there, you get pulled back, and Dendi kills you anyway, so. And they do relocate this time. Oh, Suneko right into the stun of DDC. He is gonna drop quickly, but Dendi looks to clean up. The Prophet ult secures a double. At 10 minutes into the game, and oh, they're not what a done. nice cask! And look at it go from the low ground, art style, just swagging on Mikasa. Mid. Can't afford to give up this many kills on a death prophet. I imagine Coach Mikasa is not very happy with player Mikasa right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are no replacements. Dendi maybe gonna get turned on here. No, he's able to save him with the IO tethering up, looking to turn oh, back in. Art style gonna help secure the kill together with Ditya Ra. Now they're looking for Mikasa, who's forced to pop the exorcism, does get off the spirit type, and this could be the turn that Na'Vi uh, have been trying to prevent here. Ditya Ra, he'll go for it, but he will be denied by Yang, and Fiji Gaming get their foot, feet back under them, and it's very oh, reminiscent back. of yesterday's game. Actually has a fighting chance of turning things oh, around DDC. to Fiji Gaming. He dropped a ward to try and scout out this exact gank, and unfortunately the spirits hit him. Vision deployed for uh, for uh, Vici, but it comes at a cost. And now Dendi moving forward onto FY, trying to find the second kill. Your Enchantress backing off, has the blink, Scream cooling down. Can FY heal up enough? I think they have the kill. Just one more blink, Scream secures it. Dendi with the last hit. Immediate rotation, Vici Gaming again deploying a smoke. And at the same time, Deyara also sneaking out into the trees. TP's in, the Hawk trying to give some vision. But Vici on the prowl. Can they get the jump? Looking for the lasso to start things off. Suneko backing off. There is a relocate safe. The roar comes out. Quick reactions here. Suneko going for that relocate. Will look to turn this fight. Backing the team off just a little bit. The Quapo come through. Finishes off the Batrider as well as Mikasa. Now DDC fully committed onto Suneko, but he tethers back out. He's barely surviving, and it looks like he, well, unfortunately relocates back forward, so it does end up dropping at the back end of the fight now. And on the run, ZYF desperately scrambling to safety. He heads south with the Sakuchi, Deira trying to find him and lock him down. The Sakuchi TP secures the retreat. This game, probably best bet is going for an Assault Caress. Shiva's God, not quite oh, as good. Oh, this is a far oh. dive. Batrider jumping in, does not have the backup. Navi were just waiting for Vici to overextend, and they are going to comply. FY executed by General. I mean, you don't pick Batrider to just sit back and watch the enemy team farm the entire map. That's yeah. not how it's supposed to work, say Vici, but Navi moving in mid. Mikasa getting clipped by that last stun. In general, again, blink in and chop goes the Death Prophet. Another kill. That's four. Could be a full takedown. It is five. Have fallen, and they're roaring here in Cyber Arena. A couple times where they got a couple key kills, but it, Navi just... It really just General impeccable strategic play. General in, more punishment for Yang. The roar again, he gets the jump, and again, he gets the kill. FY's gonna be next. Beachy Gaming gets slaughtered, cleaned up, and taken out. Navi, now one win away from a date with LGD in the winter bracket finals here at Star Ladder, and boy, they sure love it. Navi looking better than ever. Just impressive stuff here. And then you're going to be a very happy camper. Earthspray actually only now 
buys the second ward for the team. There we go. Early skirmish is brewing, and Mikasa's the first man in the Oracle. Nuke comes out. They try to focus down Seneco. Fairy Fire's getting popped all over the place, but first blood will go to Vici Gaming. They also grab the bounty rune top. General just oh, kind of on an island bottom lane. He'll get his for free. DDC finding the trade on Dendi, but they're also looking for art style here. It's going to be three heroes. Whoa. So, I mean, really, it, I, I said a trade, but it's really just a bounty rune for General, not much of one. Uh, Mikasa's already having a rough enough time. He's not like a must-kill hero. Oh, Dendi, you mentioned he's having a good game, and he's going to find the check on mid onto Mikasa. The baits, and then the counter plays, and they go, keeping his core alive. DDC sure is looking on the mid lane. He gets the stun off here on Ditya Ra. The rolling boulder comes through, then the kickback, smashing Ditya Ra, and the finger from DDC secures the kill. There's the counter shackle, focus fire now as well, and while that's happening, the bottom lane, a tower will drop. Dendi strikes back, though, and they look for a bit more. FY power shot, not quite enough. He barely survives, and then the Oracle Nuke comes in, securing a second kill. BGR were just grouped up. They want to oh, fight, they want to fight. In, but they have the wolves here on the tree line. They might get vision in time to turn this one around. Deira quick to morph with the shapeshift, but the rolling polarder comes out as FY goes for the big dive. He does get the kick, magnetized the point on to two. Deira scurrying back, hits Seneco, save him. It's going to be close. Lower and lower he goes. The magnetized finishes the job, and Seneco will end up dropping. He didn't have the false promise, nor did he have any earned charges left from the looks of things. So Seneco two will fall. Three more Navi heroes hitting the deck. Avicii will move in. There's the TP. Beastmaster wants to join the fray. And now Yang looking to back off. Gets slightly blocked, blocked by the Wolves. Yeah, How far do they want to go? FY oh, rolling away. This is this is a full evacuation here. Navi have oh, realized. Oh, Dandy. He cuts the cords to the lifeboats. And he looks for Yang. The roar comes through. They're going to bring him down. Darkseer tumbles. And Mikasa, with the exorcism going, has to run from the big bad wolf. Ditya chewing through him. The Oracle's going to finish him. Oh, not quite, actually. Didn't get the kill. False promise committed. A fast frog still chasing forward. Turns back into the wolf. Gobbles him up. Now onto DDC. No, going to turn back and look for FY who got up the magnetize as well as just a single boulder. It won't be enough for any kills. Three for Na'Vi, but they do lose Dendi. Finished off on the retreat, aggressively pushing the bottom lane. They are going to get the tower, though it might come at the cost of DDC. Scouted out by the Hawk now. And Ditya Ra, quickly morphing, is going to try to commit here. They get the tower, they get a shackle, they're going to look for ZYF, they get him as well. And then DDC, it's a twofer. And that was all the Hawk. Na'Vi just out executing VGR right now. They found now. more, Dendi again, it was the Hawk, and this time from the high ground, isn't enough for the kill, Mikasa so low finished off. First General Dota, completes though. it, but look for FY to try and turn this around, Magnetize deployed, and it's pretty much on the entire Navi squad, FY getting swapped back in, and Art Style wants to finish it, but FY might have the last word, no, that final oh, arrow from the Archer does it. A lot Survive. of Magnetize damage, but not quite enough for the kill. And I don't think there's any detection here on Na'Vi. No Na gem for the time being. VGR, though. They've got the Observe sitting right on top of them. Yeah, VGR. There's the swap to start off. And they find the Darkseer. Crucial pickup. Doesn't get off a thing. He's out of the fight, out of the pictures. DDC scatters in the trees. They do finally get to fight with the Gyro, though, who pops the BKP. Hammers away at Seneco. Juki through the trees. Completely outplayed him. He hasn't even got kill a single kill yet. So far, three heroes down. It's about to be four with the Earth Spirit very low. It might be a team one. Now the oh, Gyro TP does TP yeah. away. Committed everything for Seneco and couldn't even get that. BG Gaming, they're daring to leave the base. They're going to commit here onto Dendi, but BKBs turns, works on Yang. There is an MKB up on end, but can he finish off Dendi? Doesn't look like he blinks out. Kept alive by Seneco. Great support play here. And now they may turn back onto ZYF, getting bit by the wolf and doesn't like it very much. He bleeds out. That's three. Make it four as the lion also drops instant buyback. But this might be all she wrote. And even the BKB Gyro, he goes down. The physical damage with the Venge Lycan is too much. They're going to try and counter this. Great Shackle from Dendi, Shackle, though. Shackle, beautiful oh stuff. DYF's next. He's down for the count. 80 seconds on the sideline. A severe thrashing at the hands of Na'Vi. It is a Na'Vi with a 15k gold lead and no racks down. I feel like any time Na'Vi had a greater than 10k gold lead, they would have almost always have taken a racks by that point. Uh, and it's just crazy because it was actually Alliance who did that today. And Alliance historically would be the team that would do the opposite yeah. and play it super safe, super stable. But here we go. Could be the last fight of the game. Dendi from the low got the two hero shackle once more. Again, He's working yet. on the gyrocopter, trying to pound through the DPS of end. It'll do it. Now turning for more. And GG is the call. Na'Vi 2-0. Looking dominant versus Vici Gaming Reborn.
The crowd on their feet. They have been revitalized. Navi and the Kiev audience are getting behind this story right now. Says, that was incredible. Uh, how do you think, what helped you to win with such a confident 2-0 score? Um, a lot of practice and we are a team, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Uh, your next opponent is LGD. What do you think about uh, them? Uh, do you think it will be the same as today? I think LGD is a very tough opponent and we know they are very good, so uh, we're gonna be ready to fight them. I hope we give a good fight. Yep. We're sure you are, you will. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good evening.